My dearly beloved in Christ, there are several thoughts that come to us at the beginning of a new year. One of them is gratitude to Almighty God for the past year and the past years, and that he has given us another year, or at least to enter upon another year to serve him, to work out our salvation. And so the calendar changing over to a new year is an opportunity to reflect upon the value of time. St. Alphonsus Maria Liguri even goes so far as to say, time is worth God. And what he means by that is in a moment of time, we can gain the possession of God, just as in a moment of time, a person can lose the grace of God. And this reminds us of the story of the good thief. And there he was hanging on the cross, suffering for his crimes, dying, and he witnessed how our Lord was being mocked, not only by his enemies and those standing around, but even by his companion on the other side of our Lord's cross. And he rebuked his companion and he said, we are receiving the just retribution for our crimes, but this man has done nothing wrong. And it was a grace of God that moved his heart as he witnessed all of this. And he turned to our Lord and said, Lord, remember me when thou comest into thy kingdom. Now look at how brief was that exchange of words. And our Lord promising him, this day thou shalt be with me in paradise. He cooperated with that grace and he earned salvation happiness with our Lord for all eternity because he cooperated with that grace. So that shows us the value of time. We have time right now. We have had a great deal of time over the past year, the past years. And although God has given us more time, has allowed us to see the beginning of a new year, we cannot promise ourselves that we will see the end of this year or that we will see the beginning of the next year. We don't know how much time God will yet give us in this world. And that's a good thing because we are thereby constrained to prepare always to meet our Lord. We recall the words of our Lord in the gospel, be you always ready for at an hour that you think not, the Son of Man will come. And so here's another thought, a good thought at the beginning of a new year, and that is preparation for death. Yes, a good thought, because it's a very spiritually beneficial reflection. We have lost several of our parishioners over the past year, and we think to ourselves, given the number of parishioners here, the likelihood is there will be at least several more called by God this year. Will it be me or you? It very well could be. There's the old saying that there's nothing more certain than death, but there's nothing more uncertain than the day of our death or the manner. And why does God not let us know how much time we have left in this world, when the end of our lives will be. Because if we knew that, we could easily become complacent. Let's say that you have 10 more years to live, or more. And you knew that right now, today. You knew that you had exactly 10 years to live. What would happen? The tendency would be to relax, to become complacent, and to say, well, I can worry about working out my salvation eight years from now, nine years from now. I'll be sure that I'm ready now that I know I have 10 years. But given the complacency that would set in when those eight years are up, that person would say, well, I can go another year. When that other year is up, I can go another few months, etc." And so complacency sets in. And so by not knowing when God will call us, 
we are thereby compelled to be always ready to live a good spiritual life. And thus we will be ready whenever that time comes. So we should reflect upon death as we reflect upon time at the beginning of a new year. And let us also take the opportunity, as people in the world do, to make a resolution. Now, of course, worldlings, most of their resolutions will deal with personal goals that are not spiritually, just merely personal or material. But our resolution should be, what virtue do I want to acquire this year? What particular spiritual practice or virtue has eluded me up to this point that I need to concentrate on to acquire that virtue, to fulfill that resolution. So this is a good thing to do at the beginning of a new year. Again, to reflect upon time, to thank God for the time he has given to us, to resolve to use our time better, and to think about what it is that we wish to acquire, that wish, we wish to accomplish this year in order to help us use the time God gives us and to work out our salvation. May this new year of 2018 be for each of us a time of spiritual growth, growth in the love of God, growth in the practice of virtue. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, amen. <laughs>